All right, CJ Albertson, seventh place, top yeah. American, personal best, 209.53. Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, feel pretty good. This, I mean, yeah, I guess I hit those splits, so. <laughs> did, I mean, did you have it align pretty, with like, pretty, what you had on paper? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I was, I mean, it was slightly faster the first half, um, and I think slightly slower the last couple miles, mm -hmm. but that, I mean, it was kind of to be expected. I mean, I was kind of within the range. Um, Cause like with the tailwind, I thought, originally I was thinking like 64, 20 ish through half was kind of like those splits, but then the, the tailwind, I was like, oh, maybe like 64 flat. And I was like 63, 50 something. Um, and the, but I finished, I think almost at the exact time I predicted like 209, 52 or 209, 53. And like, that's like exactly what I finished as. So yeah. it was kind of funny. Um, how much like could you feel the tailwind on the course? Like was it definitely helping? Uh, yeah, I mean it had to be helping. Um, I felt a lot of like crosswind actually. Um, so which I think was kind of nice because um, you always felt like you had a breeze. Um, so I'm sure we had like a good tailwind because like you could feel like you felt good but you, there was definitely like a significant enough feeling of a crosswind to where like you know, I felt cool the whole time and like I was getting a breeze like the entire race. So yeah. at times it felt like there was a headwind. I'm sure there wasn't, it was just like a crosswind, but um, but no, it was, I mean, it's really, especially going through the Newton Hills, it was like for sure a tailwind because like these hills feel so much easier than they have yeah. in the past. Uh, so yeah, it was nice. Um, what did you, like, did you see you split it halfway? And like, what were you thinking at that point? Yeah, I mean, I like I knew, I could, I mean, there's tons of clocks on the course, so I knew what my split was going to be. Um, I was like, it's going to be like around 63.45, and it was like 63.50 or something like that. So, um, yeah, it was pretty much right what I right what I thought it was going to be after like 10K. But is it like, is it scary at all to see that split at a halfway? Like that's, you know, 207 pace for you. Uh, or, well, Boston, you can't really think of it like that because the first half is so easy and so fast. I mean, you're basically just running downhill. There's a, you know, there's a few little climbs, but uh, it's a couple hundred feet downhill with a tailwind. So like, you, you're gonna expect that you're probably gonna run at least a minute slower the second half, unless you're like, you know, gonna win the race. <laughs> Those are the only people that really run even splits. Yeah. Um, so, you know, like a, like a 63.45 is really like a 64.30. Um, so, you know, and that's, that's not crazy. Do you, see, you know, there were a couple breakaways early. Like, did, what, who did you end up running with? And like, what were your, what was your thinking when you see those people start to break? Yeah, I mean, like right from the beginning, they were out uh, fairly quick. Um, and then I looked around and in the second mile, there was a, a pretty good second group. Uh, Sandre was in there, um, Seguro was in there. Um, and so I'm like, all right, like this is a pretty, you know, this is a pretty good group. Like they're, they're gonna, um, you know, I think they can run along with. And then there's a few other guys. I didn't know um, exactly who they were. Um, or actually, I didn't know one other guy. I'm blanking on his name though. Um, but yeah, so they went, Sandra actually kind of like was, picked it up a little bit and was running faster than I kind of wanted to. I was kind of trying to hang on him, but I was like, I'm kind of having to like work and I don't really want to press. Yeah. So I laid off uh, and then tucked back in behind uh, Suguru and then, um, and then he faded a lot earlier than I thought. Around like mile nine or 10, he really slowed down and no one wanted to take the pace. Uh, and I was like, all right, well, we got, a, we got a tailwind and I feel good. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. And then uh, I didn't, I, I just kind of like went to the front and then like a mile later, no one was around me. So I don't really know what happened. But then from then on, from 10 on, I was just by myself, but I could at least see people maybe like mile 16 or so. Um, and I passed my first guy around mile 17. I was actually, actually passed a couple of guys uphill. I don't think I've ever done that in a race before. So yeah. that was that was a new experience. Yeah. yeah. I, I know you know, coming into some of the Bostons in the past, you've been really confident. And I, it was striking to me, like talking to you on Friday, you weren't really saying to like, oh, so I'm gonna shake my life. This is amazing, I'm gonna run a PB. Yeah, this is your best performance in Boston to date. Like, what do you think went into that? Uh, well, I mean, I definitely ran more even, you know, a more even effort, so that helps. Um, and the way the wind was, it, it was it was easier or felt more confident just running uh, with the second pack and, and also running by myself. Because um, normally, boss, you know, every other year I've ran it, it's been like, not windy, but it's been like a six, seven mile an hour headwind. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that first year, there was pretty much no wind. but. Um, but yeah, so like if you have a headwind, like running by yourself the entire way is uh, just probably not, I mean, it's hard to do. Yeah. So, but, so with the tailwind, I felt more comfortable. And also like I knew that was kind of my only, my only choice because I, 
uh, yeah, I wasn't in like amazing shape, but I knew I was in, you know, good enough shape to run what I ran today, yeah. which is what I did. What do you think this is, the tailwind was worth today in terms of like compared to still conditions? I mean, I have no idea because no one else really ran much faster. <laughs> I mean, like the, I mean the, the, uh, yeah, like what, fifth or how many guys broke 207? Two? Yeah, I'll talk, I'll talk I mean, it, it wasn't sure. like a crazy, it was kind of just a normal year. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of guys kind of died and didn't even break 210. I mean, the guys I was passing at the end were pretty good. So I don't know. Uh, maybe the warmth got to people. Because, yeah, overall, usually, like, I mean, for them going out the way that they did, like, they didn't go out like blazing fast, but they went out solid that you would have expected a little bit faster times out of finish with that tailwind so it's hard to say i mean yeah i i, I don't know because i ran good but no one else seemed to run that fast yeah. like relatively you yeah. know and how did the body feel coming off the trials with the, the i know you said that you had those foot problems until a few days ago yeah uh yeah i mean i have i've just felt okay like basically from the trials until now um haven't really felt like I've been doing a whole lot, but whenever I'd kind of do harder efforts, um, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm not like as out of shape as I thought. Like I'm, at, like, I'm in decent shape. So, um, and then this week I had significantly less pain, kind of like, kind of figured out the right strength exercises that kind of took away some pain. Um, so yeah, the past two days didn't really feel anything. Um, I can tell my arch is a little sore right now, but I mean, I just raced a marathon, but I, I mean, during the race I had, it was no, no pain or no anything. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I'll, I'll take some time off. I'm not going to be racing anytime soon now, so I can just, yeah. you know, relax. But, uh, yeah. What's the feeling like to finally be sub 210 <laughs> officially? Uh, it, I mean, I guess of, it's, on a, it's Boston, but like. Yeah, you know, you know. I know. Yeah, my, my PR won't say, say 209, they'll still say 210. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's good. It's, it's good to get like that. Uh, it's just like, you know, kind of like the monkey off your back type thing, you know, and, and that. Now I can run like 207 or something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, it feels good. Of course, you know, there's an asterisk. It's like you have a tailwind at Boston, but whatever. I don't care. Well, congrats. Right yeah. out there Thanks. Thanks, CJ.